Welcome to the R video tutorial on agent based models part six. If you haven't watched previous videos, you should probably go back and watch them now as they will lead into all the code that we're using here. So if you follow along in each of the videos, you will be able to get the code and you'll be able to keep following along. Okay. So last time we generated some agents and we followed them through time. And then we looked at some basic summaries about them. As we went through time, we wanted to see which groups they belonged in. Now, I've cut this back down to 10 right now because I want to be able to look at the data again. But right now, we only have two states. We have states E and we have states S. So they're susceptible or exposed. And if you remember, as we go through, this is the number of times we're moving through the, in the model forward in time. This is our storage unit. Now, notice that our storage only has space for two conditions. And this will be an issue as we go along here. And also when we come down here, we just use the table function. Now the table function will only use what's available. And you have to remember in many of our states, there's going to be, or we're going to have more than just two states. We're going to have many states. So we're going to have an infected state and we're going to need a way to can basically summarize that. And that's what we're going to do right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to create, instead of using uh, this matrix, we're going to create a data frame. And we're just going to start with naming it the same thing. So I'm going to do a data frame. And here I'm going to put in uh, each state that I'm interested in, S, which is I'm going to repeat 0, and this is going to be N time 1. The reason is, is right now I'm creating zeros for each of the time point periods. Okay, there's an E state. So I'm going to rep zero N time one for each time state. And again, I'm going to create an infected state. So I'm going to repeat zero N time one. And then I am going to create a recovered state. And we'll actually play with that one first because it's easy to do uh, with the group that we have. Uh, they don't have to get sick in order to be there. Okay, and we're going to create a death state for those people who have unfortunately died in our simulation. All right, so this is going to create our summary container. And then when we come down here, we're going to change the way we look at this. So here we're still going to use this out one because we left the name the same. However, now we're going to use, it's not going to have multiple columns. We're going to look at each one individually. So I'm going to put a dollar sign and I'm going to do S for right now. And we're going to do, well, all I need to do is figure out how many of them are there in my data set that are of that state. So I do agent one dollar sign state where, and it could be any column actually, agent one dollar sign state equals, and here we're going to do S. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to take and copy and paste this. And I'm just going to change this one to E, then change it to E over here. Do the same thing with I, and change it to I over here. And I'll expand this out a little bit so you can see everything. And I will run this again, or copy and paste this again. I had an R, R, and D. Okay, now what this will do is this will populate for each row in here what the value of S is, what the value of E is, I is, R is, and D is. And if there is no value, it'll just give them the uh, value of zero. So this will be really handy because right now we don't have anything other than that. So let's run this real quick and see what it does. And hopefully it works. So we're going to go all the way to the top. Give it a go. And it didn't scream at us. So now we can look at out one now. And you'll see that it has in it S, E, I, R, and D. All the states are in here now. And we can then see how our 
participants or agents move between these states. Now, right now, we only have two states available for them to move to, but we're planning as time goes on to be able to keep track of all of these. All right, and that's what we're going to do in the next video is add the infected and recovered states, or probably just the recovered state, and then we'll come back and do the infected. All right, see you there.